Today we celebrate an incredible saint who is known and respected worldwide for his love of the sacrament of reconciliation. Today we celebrate the patron saint of priests, St. John Vianney. Jean-Baptiste Marie Vianney was born near Lyons, France in a small town called Dardilly in 1786. From a very young age, St. Vianney was taking care of sheep. When John felt the call to priesthood at age 18 and shared it with his father, his father rejected him. Mr. Vianney did not want John to go away because he feared that then they would lose all of the hard work that they had put into the farm. But when John turned 20, he went to study with Father Bali in a school nearby. But John Vianney suffered very greatly in school. He wasn't um, the brightest student, especially when it came to his Latin studies. Father Bali stuck with him though because he believed in John. At one point during his studies, John was conscripted into the Napoleon army for a war against the Spanish. He went to go the first time but fell ill and had to stay behind. A second time John was drafted for the army, he went to a church to pray. But as he was praying he got left behind again and a stranger approached him and told him that he would take him to where all of the rest of the army had gone. Um, this man instead took him to a deserter's camp and John stayed there for three years. After a decree was passed in 1810 granting amnesty to all deserters, John Vianney finally returned to school to learn under Father Bali. John entered the seminary, but the administration was not pleased with his test scores and ignorance. Father Bali vouched for John Vianney that his spiritual knowledge far outweighed any After Vianney was ordained a priest, he assisted Father Bali for three years. Then he was placed as a parish priest in the city of Ars. This city had completely turned God away. There was rampant sinning, drinking, and sex. John spent the rest of his life in this city. As Vianney became more popular and widely known for his spiritual knowledge and amazing ability to give sermons, he was giving confession up to 16 hours a day. St. John Vianney lived a very interesting life uh, of struggles and triumphs, of sorrows and joys, of losses and gains. In the end, the only thing that matters is that John gave all of his heart to the parish and the people. He died in 1859 in Ars and was proclaimed a saint by Pope Pius XI in 1925. Today, we remember St. John Vianney for his patience and the love of the Sacrament of Reconciliation. We can ask for his intercession to help us get to confession and pour our sins out in order to form a clean heart.